This is John Castellano, proud husband, dad, New Yorker, and owner of Castellano's House of Music. John does it all. He raises money for a nursing home, donates instruments to local schools, and supports area charities, all while treating everyone he meets like family. And that's why today, daughter Nicole helped set John up to reward him for being the community hero he is. We're about to make John Castellano's day. And that day starts right now. What if you woke up one day and 50 hidden cameras tracked your every move, set you up in crazy situations, and gave you a perfect day? And all the while, you had no idea. It's 10 a.m., and our man of the day is just getting out of bed. Here's what we know about John Castellano. John is one of three siblings born and raised in Brooklyn. At age five, he picked up his first guitar, and he still idolizes music legend Eric Clapton. When he's not giving back to his community, this Staten Islander spends his time bowling, watching The Sopranos, and rooting for his all-time favorite, New York Giants. John's about to leave for what he thinks is going to be a regular day at work, but he has no idea what we have in store. And here comes the first of many surprises we've strummed up that will make his day nothing short of amazing. The car has just stopped. This is April. She's an actress we've hired to play the part of a flustered concert promoter who seems to be having some car trouble. With our camera strategically placed, let's see how John reacts when we drop the damsel in distress right in his own driveway. Can I help you? Oh, hi. My car just keeps on breaking down, and I was just pulling off the main road. Can you just push it into neutral? Oh, that would be awesome. Push with the knees, John. Take plenty of breaks. In fact, you might need a break right now. <sighs> Easy there, John. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Hidden camera vans ain't cheap, you know. I'm going to be so late. If I walked, which way would I go? Should you're I just go this way? way? You've walking for about an hour. I'm going, I have my oh store down that way. I'll be able to give you a lift. Of course John helped out a beautiful blonde. And guess what? Okay. She has a little something for her. Oh, Do you like Eric Clapton? Oh, Eric Clapton's great. <sighs> okay, so here, there's two tickets. Here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no seriously. No. I'm a promoter. This is what I do. I, 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 you I, know, I, you I, have to. I might be fired if you don't get me there in like five minutes. Oh, my with Clapton concert tickets in hand, John gives April a ride to her alleged meeting. Next stop, Castellano's House of Music, where our hidden cameras have every angle covered to catch John's every move. All of John's employees are in on today's big plan. Be cool. uh, Don't say anything, half break. To him. including his daughter Nicole. Our inside source. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Bye. And she can't Thanks. wait to hear about his Sorry. morning. He's blocking my driveway. What's this? Some, some morning. She's like a Viking. She's like, you know, like this tall. Well, Dad, anybody's a Viking. <laughs> she was like this tall. Oh, my God. The statuesque one. You know, like one of those, you know, you look at it and go, whoa. She says, well, my car broke down and I'm late for a meeting. What am I going to do? Food. I says, don't worry. I'll push you back to the spot. So I get behind this, this car, which I haven't pushed the car in, I don't know, since I was like 16. And I pushed the car. She says, what about the car back? Don't worry, don't worry, you have plenty of room. Bang! Right from the car behind her. Oh. She was, I'm a promoter. Here, take these tickets. What are they for? Eric Clapton, $254 each. Let me some, seriously. Who do you think is the biggest guitar player in history? Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton, hands down. Wow. <laughs> nice. John settles in for a regular day of work. Still clueless that we're watching his every move. Oh, that's a nice jam, John. John is obsessed with the New York Giants, and they made his day with the Super Bowl victory in 2008, led by wide receiver Amani Toomer. Hi, we need an RC2 recording pedal from Boy. So we've drafted Amani to make John's day. Let's see how this one's received. What's your name? You do. Amani. Amani Tuma. Amani Tuma. From the Giants. Oh my, oh my yeah. God. Get out of town. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Amani Tuma. We got a 
<laughs> can we get a camera? Can I get a camera? Is anybody have a camera? You got plenty of cameras on you, John. Don't worry about it. Camera, oh, camera I phones. I got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got my yeah, camera. No problem, my jacket. We had a lot of John fans here. Oh, yeah, my God. At Dallas what a game. game. Yeah. At Dallas game. I lost my voice for that game. Yeah. I was screaming in my house. This guy in the yeah. Dallas Let me tell you something. People are still saying that that was the greatest, like, comeback. You know, it can't be done, and you guys did it. Yeah. We've set it up that Armani just so happens to be in the market for an electric guitar. Good taste. That's a sensational instrument. I've tried to play before. Yeah. But I just. Well, you got hands. It was, <laughs> that uh, we know. <laughs> you try and like show me a little something. Sure. What, what could I? What could I learn real quick? You want to keep your hand pretty, you know, straight like this. Your wrist straight. Your wrist straight. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Wait. No. So now watch. <laughs> Hello? And that's yeah. us calling Amani and telling him the first quarter's right. over. It's time to leave the field. You know what, actually, I, I gotta get going. Now. Let me do something for you. Yes, yes. You just made my day. And thanks for plugging the show, John. Let me give you a guitar. Tell me which one you like and have you the ones. This one's the best one right here. And give him a Castellanos house in the case, give him the whole deal. Hope you hook it up. Yeah? Yeah, man. OK, all right. One day, send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to bring you back oh. a little something, all right? You gave me so much already, man. No, I got, I got one more thing for you. Did you shake his hands? <laughs> his hands are soft. <laughs> Which one you want? They're not like While John marvels at Amani's soft hands and doesn't everybody, it's time for a second gift of the day. Oh! Nice. <laughs> nice. Since you took the time and gave me the free guitar lesson. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm choked up. I got to be That's honest. That's really I'm, nice. I'm real choked up. <laughs> there you go. God bless you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thanks for much. everything. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Uh, see you later. Holy <laughs> Monty Tuma walked in the store and gave me wow. the book. I don't even want to touch this. An autographed football is not the only thing Amani left behind. We had him conveniently forget his cell phone. And soon enough, he's going to give it a call. It's been a great day so far for one super guy, and we're capturing it hidden camera style. Whoa. He scored tickets to an Eric Clapton concert. $254 each. And jammed with his favorite New York go. giant. I'm choked up. I got to be That's honest. Really nice. We're making John Castellano's day. <laughs> Monty Tuma walked in the store and gave me his wow. book. That's pretty spectacular. Nice. Good-looking guy. Good-looking man. Lotto tickets! <laughs> Buy a lotto tickets! Can I have you with John in repair, please? Hi, yeah. John. This is Nicole Castellano. Hello? 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 That's Amani calling the cell phone he accidentally left at John's store, setting up a game-changing play. Hello? Hey, John. This is Amani Tumor. I just left my phone. What do you need me to do, buddy? I got a lot of important numbers on there. I don't really trust my driver. Just tell me what you want me to do. All right, I want you to get in the car with the driver and meet me with the phone. No problem. You'll be outside in uh, about a minute or two. All right, buddy. You got it. Thanks again, man. Whose phone is that? Yeah. Monty Tuma. That's his phone? That's his phone? Yeah. And we get Eli Manning's number out of there. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. Hey. No, look. Hey. Oh, we're looking, John. We even have cameras rolling in the car to keep an eye on you and our actor, Chris, who's playing the role of Amani's sketchy driver. So, you having a good day today? So far, fairly uh, spectacular. Oh, yeah? What's going on? We had an encounter in the morning, and a girl laid on, uh, laid some Aaron Clapton tickets on me. Get out of here. Like $500 tickets. Really? That's a good start to a to And then Amani Tuma walking in the store. Great guy. We got to play guitar together, and he autographs a football. He gives it to me. Now I get a chance to go meet him again. But what's the odds on that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, crazier things have happened. Hey, uh, yeah, but not to me. <laughs> John thinks he's just returning Amani's cell phone. But with our cameras in place, it's time for the next strike. Thanks for the phone, man. Appreciate hey, no, it. Thank you. Knowing John's love for The Sopranos, we couldn't resist this one. Hanging with Amani Toomer is Soprano star Vincent Pastore, also known as Big Pussy. Oh! How you doing? Vinny Pastore. Yeah. How are you? What's your name? John Castellano. Nice to meet you, John. Yo, sit down. We're bowling. Great, man. I'm working on a movie here, and um, I'm, uh, I got to learn how to bowl, so... You know, I ran into Monty. He says, I'll come over here. We'll go do some bowling. Did you give him back his cell phone? He was freaking out. I gave him his cell phone. You didn't leave it again. 
I got all my numbers. All right, I'm gonna get Where going. Where you going? I'm gonna get going. I gotta get going. You leaving? All right, yeah. I'll see you tonight. All right, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna it. do a commercial later. Hey, man, thanks for the guitar, man. I really appreciate that. Genuine pleasure meeting you. Thank You're you. You're a real great person. Thank you. Now, Thank please, you. if you ever stop in Staten Island, please be my guest for lunch, whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, With Amani out of the picture for now, John and Vinny hit the lanes for some family time. Can you bowl? He sure can. Let me see you bowl a few frames. John bowls in the league every Friday night, and we're about to put his skills to the test. So you just met Imani? Yeah. How'd you meet him? Okay, with my book. Nice guy. Are you a professional bowler? 160 bowlers. That's good or bad? That's... What about these two schmucks over here? Here comes the next big setup. Those two schmucks are actually professional bowlers we've hired to keep things interesting. They look like hustlers. They're giving us a look. Vinny's sparing no expense selling this setup. I would like to enjoy my afternoon a little better, and I'd like to play for a little uh, drink one. Sure, how much a game? You're walking into a bad thing here. I don't want to play for nothing. $100 for the game. $100 for the game. For the game? OK, for the game. who goes first? I'll go first. I'll go first. You're going to go first, then you go first, then you go first, then I go last? Let's Keep them guessing, Vinny. Go, let's All right, go. let's go. Let's do right. this. That's it! Yes. Beautiful! Hello. Yeah. On the phone, that's our very own godfather telling Vinny to raise the stakes soprano style. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna play one frame for a thousand dollars. What's the matter? You guys don't wanna gamble now? Let's do one ball. Let's do, Let's one do ball. best ball. One ball. Best ball? Best ball. How is that? I'll throw one ball. Yeah. And one of you guys throw one ball. Yeah. Whoever knocks down the most pins gets the thousand. Yeah. Let's go. You gotta go first, JN. Play for All right. yeah. Here we go. A professional bowler versus John Castellano. Let's see what happens. Thousand dollars. Nice shot. So, John, it's up to you now. Come on, Johnny. Come on, John. Give me my thousand back. You got it. You got it. Oh! It's a strike. John should think about going pro. Or maybe he's just having one of those days. I'll tell you what, since I love you so much, I'll give you a hand. No, I'll do that. Why not? Do me a favor. Vince's driver has conveniently left him at the bowling center. So he's going to hitch a ride with his new best friend, John. Come on, let's go. I need a ride. Let's go. Can I help you? Our good fella is having a heck of a day. I can't believe it. He got Clapton tickets for his chivalry. Five hundred dollars tickets. Taught a Super Bowl champ how to play guitar. There we go. And gambled big bucks with Big Pussy from The Sopranos. You got it! Oh! We're making John Castellano's day. The house is a nice out here in Staten Island. Our hidden cameras are still rolling on this dynamic duo moderate, you know. as they continue their male bonding. People were so upset when you got killed. Sopranos? Yeah, because you know what? You are a very likable character. I know they had to, to kill people off. not likable in real life, though. Really? <laughs> no. What are you doing later tonight? Me? I, I'm, right now, I don't know, because it's going kind of wacky today. Well, today is wacky. the wacky, wackiest events. First of all, I had a beautiful blonde stuck in front of my house. She offered me tickets for giving her a ride. Uh, tickets to where? To see Eric Clapton, but... Oh, I want to go. Well, <laughs> I got tickets. Your wife ain't going. Right? You, you go with me. I'm going. Looks like John's got a date to the Clapton concert. He's yeah. shooting a commercial uh, Midtown somewhere. What's it for? What do you care? No, it's got to be something good, right? Public service. OK. I said, come and watch us. All right, yeah. In true Soprano style, Bowling partner Vinny makes John an offer he can't refuse. So my guy is at the diner. He's going to take me in. And then when you're ready, he's going to pick you up. Right. Chris, I do as I'm told. You know, you talk just like me. You know? Right. But first, John stopped back at the House of Music, where Nicole's told everyone he's been bowling with a soprano. Confused as ever, John's still looking for some answers. They're tanking balls. They're letting me That's bowl. That's what she said. I think there's people taking oh, pins down. Get out of here. You're paranoid. What is this? What's going on here? Why did he give you $500? I don't know, but can we have some? This is all <laughs> wacky. You're betting $1,000 a frame. A frame? Who? A f Why? These two guys that would look to me like I know them. They're obvious pros. It was like a setup. Do you understand us? Uh, setup of what? No way, though. You're going to go? Mm. Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, you going? Wait, wait a minute. We saw you still with us. Pause. <sighs> What I think was that Amani Tuma 
felt funny taking that guitar. So he gave him the money? To make sure I got the money. Uh, was he there? Money I, it's like, I can't take too, you know, like, it's like a lot of... Too much excitement. You need an Oh, please. Just go Calm the down. Really? Unfortunately, calming down is not on the agenda. Our driver is already back to bring him and his daughter, Nicole, to New York City. Through all this excitement, John hasn't called his wife all day. We think it's about time he checked in. Yeah, you're not gonna realize what's going on here today. This is just like uh, totally, uh, it's like something you, you uh, hear about. Uh, it's like getting caught in the eye of a hurricane. Uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. <coughs> so Armani Tuma comes in the store, the, the wide receiver from the Giants, and he's just a beautiful person. His, 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 his long and short of it. I wind up in a bowling alley playing, playing a bowling with Big Pussy for $1,000 a frame. Um, uh, now wow. I got a driver picking me up, and we're going, we're going up to New York. I'm here with Nicole. Call me back, so I'm not gonna be home for dinner. Don't get nervous. You know what I like to tell when good things like this happen? You like telling it. But this has been so fantastic. I don't think I have any friend that has the attention span for me to repeat this story as it's gone up to this point in its entirety, or to the best thereof, without sans embellishment of what's been going on today. Everybody ready? For our last big setup, we're staging a fake commercial shoot promoting tourism in New York. With our camera set and rolling, John takes his place to watch the action. Three, two, one. There's our actor Otto playing the role of director. Yeah. And our actor Niels playing a hot dog vendor who's been instructed to flub his lines. Come to New York. And sorry. Come to New York and see that we're a happy, friendly, and helpful community. Right, big pussy from Sopranos? No, no, no. It's Vincent uh, sorry, cut. Okay, come cut. On. Okay, come here. Otto, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Vincent. Listen, I, I never want to talk bad about an actor in front of an actor. Okay, okay, okay. Let's I can right. hear you, you know. Okay. Vincent now tells the director that we need to replace Neil. I want to get this commercial so I can okay. get out of here. John, come here, let me show Wait, you something. Oh, no, see I, that copy there? Just <laughs> read it. Come to New York and see that we're a happy, friendly, and helpful community. Right, Vincent Pastore from the critically acclaimed series, The Sopranos. You Yo. got it. How you doing, John? How you doing, right, and when you're with me, you're family, right? Right. Ooh. <laughs> and cut. John, I love you. I love you, too. Wow. But I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do this? No, I don't want to take No, 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 it's not a problem at all. He's sorry to see Niels go, but John won that role fair and square. <laughs> all right, now you're going to shoot a scene with Imani Tumor, because right. this guy has now contracted you for this whole commercial, OK? You good? Hey, I'm in. All right. I'm in. In New York, the buildings aren't the only Giants. Hey, isn't that New York Giants wide receiver Imani Tumor? Sure is. <laughs> Wait, you got that. Okay, cut. And I'm off to win more Super Bowls. <laughs> All right. Cut. That's perfect. You won't forget, forget about, about it. God, yeah, you're having a ball. You're beating me up, and you're having a ball, and you get in the middle. Can we get the replay on the screen, please? John thinks he's been the star of his very first commercial, but he's about to learn the truth. Can I help you? Oh, hi. My car just keeps on breaking down. The Can you help me? <laughs> oh, awesome. From the moment John woke up, he's been the star of his very own hidden camera show, where we've made all his dreams come true. How'd you do this? You were in on us. I can't believe, I can't believe that you'd, you'd let them do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> and all his friends and family came together to celebrate. John, <laughs> you're natural. Fan. You're natural. A lot of fun today. Yeah. It's your day. First of all, the, the blonde said, how's this girl parked in front of my house? That's what I want to know. That's the girl. <laughs> it, it was wild. I pushed the car back. I pushed the car forward. I pushed the car back. I'm going... Like, <laughs> 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 you guys are pro bowlers, right? Yeah. I with a borrowed ball, I can't throw it, I'll throw it in the gutter. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I gotta come to the <laughs> And I'll take my hug. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Oh. Honestly. Oh. Back at you. Did we make your day? Uh, yeah, I think you did.
did. <laughs> I think it would piss make my day about four exits back. <laughs> yep, we just made John Castellano's day. It's really nice. I smell like a moose in heat. <laughs> and if you're lucky, next time, we just might make yours.